Well, there's tracing back our journey to 113 and day one of our excessive heat warning yesterday. We got a little bit of a break, if you will. And then today, final number for the day, 110 degrees at McCarran. 13 first alert desert Doppler still tracking nothing but sunshine around the Las Vegas Valley. And the same as the case around the desert southwest. Notice just not a whole lot going on with high pressure and control. That means a lot of sunshine, not only here, but out to Phoenix and even out to far west Texas. High pressure, the ridge going to continue in place, but things are going to get a little bit better in the next 24 hours. As far as high temperatures are concerned, we're going to have systems passing to our north, but not close enough to make a significant drop in temperatures by Wednesday. However, we'll start to see breezy winds ahead of a system that will roll through closer to the weekend, and that will drop us a little bit more. But here's a look at what we have in store over the next couple of days. Down here, we have our average temperatures. You can see uh, through Thursday, it will be between 101 and 102, and this is your four so we're still going to be above average for this time of year, but not 10 degrees plus as we've seen uh, over this last heat wave. And there you can see how much will be above average. The hottest we'll get is seven degrees above average on Tuesday. Then we start to slowly come down as again, that little system is going to come close enough to start to drop temperatures uh, closer to next weekend. So I have better numbers for you for next weekend. Uh, as far as the gusts are concerned out there, we're going to see little to no wind over the next couple of days. The breezes will start to pick up just a little bit on Tuesday. We're talking the occasional breeze on Tuesday and then 25 mile per hour gusts on Wednesday. That officially puts us into the breezy category. We can call it a little bit of nuisance wind. As far as your allergy forecast is concerned, pretty moderate. Going to get a little bit higher as the breezes start to kick up, but pretty consistently uh, along five. And remember, 12 is the highest, so middle of the road. Uh, 108 degrees at McCarran, 107. Nellis Air Force Base as we speak. Centennial Hills at 106 and Henderson at 106 as well. Overnight temperatures looking pretty good. Again, I like to uh, let everybody know in the early morning hours, this is the best time to take your pooches out for a walk because you won't burn your their paws at this time. 81 degrees Sunrise Manor, uh, North Las Vegas, 81 Centennial Hills at 79 and Summerlin also at 79 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, still very hot, but not as bad as this afternoon. We lose five degrees. We'll take it. Uh, 105 for central portions of the valley. The southwest, very similar numbers. Anthem a little higher in elevation at 103 and Boulder City coming in at 107. There's your day planner for tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, not quite as breezy as this afternoon. Uh, 96 degrees by lunchtime, but notice we're not hitting 105 at any time uh, during the day except the final number for the day. So again, it looks a little bit better even though it's still quite hot. Outdoors for tomorrow, if you're planning on doing any hiking at Red Rock, early morning is the best time. Mount Charleston really at any point of the day and we'll have breezy winds if you're planning to do any uh, boating out in Lake Mead. There's your 13 first alert seven day planner. We're going to warm back up close to 110, but not quite there. We're going to be just below it on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Overnight temperatures pretty consistent right around the 80 degree mark. Then once we get later in the week, that's when the breezes start to kick in. And then we have that system closer to the weekend. That's actually going to bring us down closer to 100, 100. And yes, here in the Las Vegas Valley, that is a cool down. Back to you.